Hey guys, and welcome back to Pikmin. Now, um, a couple of you guys, mainly Crystal and Chris, have uh, pointed out to me that we actually missed some parts out uh, in due to me being stupid uh, and having three saves of this game on the go. So, apparently, I skipped the first three parts of this level here, the Forest Naval. So, let's go and redo that. I think I've identified more or less the parts that we missed. Uh, we didn't defeat the bread bug. And we, there's a gear that we need to get. And the Ionium Drive. Funny enough, uh, the Ionium Drive is literally there. Uh, I can't remember. Like this was this was a very long time ago for me, so I'm not really sure uh, how I cocked this this up that badly. But there we go. Unfortunately, these things do happen. I could only apologise, but thanks for letting me know. Right. So there's the Ionium Drive, and uh, I'm pretty sure it is over here somewhere. Uh, in fact, I'm, yeah, I'm almost certain it's over here. Um, when you actually start this mission. Yeah, it's in these little, um, uh, like, pockets of water. So, let's go pocket that. And get that in the bank, shall we? Yeah, I can't believe I actually uh, did that. That's really annoying. Ionium Jet. This is da uh, If this is damaged, I've been dire straits. I'll have to run a check as soon as I can. I have now recovered 11 of 30 parts. If I can find just one more. Yeah, we know the drill, Olimar. Let's go. Come on, guys. Form up on me now. Uh, we actually need a good amount of troops here, to be honest. It doesn't really matter what happens to these guys because uh, <laughs> we're not going to be continuing from the save anyway. But we have to go and deal with the bread bug. Bread bug's kind of a pain. Kind of. But there is an easy way of dealing with him. Uh, kind of a sly little trick that took me a very long time to actually figure out. Uh, in fact, figure out is an uh, incorrect term. I saw it on a, a guide many, many, many moons ago. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work here. Let's give it a go, shall we? All right, now we've flowered all of our boys. There's our bread bug. Okay, now, things to note about bread bugs. No, we don't have any plants or flowers here. Yeah, that's another part I believe that we didn't get. Okay, that's a fuck factor. Can't demonstrate that. So, with the bread bugs, you can't actually attack them head on. You've got to throw Pikmin at them. Which is a whole thing in itself. Where the hell? Right, you can run over here. Which is a whole thing in itself. So we kind of have to hope that these guys are just going to land on him and do damage. As you can see, he's not actually that strong, which is good. Right, everybody, come on. Let's get all you guys forming back up. There we go. Come on, guys. Who wants to be a hero? Who wants to defeat the bread bug? Now, there is like a bit of lore with the bread bugs. Apparently, they're actually made from bread or something. I think it goes into further detail on that in Pikmin 2, I think, I want to say. Anyway, let's try and take this guy out. If we had, like, some food pellets from some uh, food posies or pellet posies, what we could actually do with this guy is we could distract him because they're greedy. And if they find food pellets around, they will try their damnedest to actually uh, take the food pellets for themselves. Now, although they look quite big, they're actually not very strong. So all you've got to do is have three of your Pikmin drag him whilst he's occupied into the f uh, with the food uh, pellet. And they'll actually drag him back to your uh, dolphin, which will kill it instantly. Which is kind of a cool little thing, really. Thank goodness, my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. This is really... I'm so confused, guys. I swear I recorded this. <laughs> the more I'm looking at these parts, I swear I recorded this. I'm wondering if I deleted this video by accident. Right, there you go, boys. Cool, good stuff. 
Right, so we've got enough reds here to go to war. Uh, now, we have got the final part, I think, that we need. Now, I've scrubbed through the footage as much as I can. And I'm hoping I've got the... I, I'm collecting the right parts here. I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, right, cool. So we got these. Nice. So we do actually have a secure way back. Cool. There might be sheer bugs around here. Uh, maybe. Alright. Not bad, man. Not bad. <clears throat> Space float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. But my motto is always be prepared. Really? It's just for emergencies. Yes. Emergencies. Oh, cool. This is like the next big uh, stage. Yeah, I am so freaking confused, man. I know I record. I remember reading it out. Sheer bugs! Alright, man. To war! Kill them! Kill them all! That's it. No prisoners to stay. Doesn't matter if we lose dudes. Rip them from the skies, boys! Well, those Pikmin are probably genderless. In fact, they're definitely genderless because they reproduce through food pellets. Okay, cool. There we go. Not bad. Kill it. Those are those are kind of weird. Those sheer bugs. They take a little while to register as dead. Right, we've got this nice little uh, area up here. So let's uh, construct this bridge here. Because why not? We need to get this constructed. There we go. Alright. Now where is everybody? Uh, okay, we kind of got a few guys spread out, but it's not too bad. There we go. Uh, come on. There you go. Hey, he actually uh, went through the little crack in the wall there. I'm impressed. Not often you get impressed by a Pikmin's intelligence, but today is one of those days. Marvellous. So, let's call these boys back. Um, right, go over there, guys. No, guys. There we go. Come on. Guys. Yeah. Alright, not bad. Now, how many do we need for that? 15. Yeah, I don't think there's any more bread bugs in this game. Which is a shame, because it would have been nice to show that um, that way of defeating them. I mean, we'll get to that in the second game. I've never actually played the second game. <clears throat> but uh, I know there are many, many, many more bread bugs in that one. Cool. That's such a shame there's no uh, pellet posies here. So it would have been nice to defeat him that way. These would have made the video a little bit different. I have found the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier. Giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Indeed. Right. Drag that shit home. Come on, boys. Excellent. Now, who's left? Because we are out. Because. There we go. Uh, there's got to be some more. Really? There's some boys left down over here. Why are you going that way? You fool. Ah, that's fine. I'll leave that up to you, my good sir. Um, oh, they're the guys that I thought were trapped here. Yeah. Never mind. I'm just being silly. But that is par for the course these days. Uh, there's a nectar wisp there, but we don't really care too much about him. Ah, uh, there's those guys. I'm sure there's some reds down here. No, it's just these two carrying this, well, that one carrying the pellet posy that's tricking me out. You deceitful little devil, you. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. I don't even know why I care, because it doesn't matter. Because we're not going to be using the safe. Lel. There we go, the automatic gear. Now, from everything that I've scrubbed through on my footage, uh, I think 
they are the three pieces that we were missing. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. <laughs> okay, Olimar. I, I'm, I'm not sure that's a good idea, but hey. Uh, I hope it will be all right. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine. I've now recovered 13 of 30 parts. If I can just find 16 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, man, it feels so weird to be so far back. Uh, Pikmin 2 as well is uh, a much, much longer game. Um, it's a much, well, I don't want to say different game, but there's certainly a lot more to it. Which is going to be interesting because you've got like the more Pikmin and all that kind of stuff. In this game, you only have the three. And I kind of like the fact that you only have the three. It doesn't exactly get overwhelming. I think in Pikmin 3 on the Wii U and now Switch, I think that one does actually get quite complicated because there's a lot of uh, Pikmin and, and whatnot in that one. But uh, hey, <laughs> we're, we're a little far off that one just yet. All right, let's put all these boys back and blast off into space. Or at least low orbit. Low orbit it do. There we go. Get out of here, boys. And with that, guys, it is time to go to sunset. All right. Don't worry too much about it, Olimar. This is just a dream. You're just recapping what you've already done. Kind of. Ish. Now, I actually quite like the story for Pikmin 2. It's, uh... <laughs> it gives you a nice little uh, look into the universe of Pikmin a little bit more. So, nine days since impact, I have managed to increase the range of the dolphin. And looking from the dolphin's portal as it uh, launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the distant spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. Right, anyway, guys, I will meet you back here on the correct save. Hey guys, and we're back. Okay, it turned out at the end of the last video, for some reason, I didn't save the game. For whatever reason. Stupidity, most likely. So anyway, I've got us back up to where we were. Let's go back to the distant spring. Now, we've got some uh, areas to open up here, for sure. I have uh, spent a little bit of the previous day uh, mining out Pikmin. Or should I say breeding Pikmin. Uh, which has been fairly substantial. Uh, we've almost doubled our blue Pikmin population, which is quite nice. So what I want to do straight off the bat, really, is get some yellows out and knock down some of these uh, gates that we have. Uh, I would have thought, yeah, 20, 20 should do. I think we killed a lot more wildlife as well. Um, last time, but I was rushing around trying to catch up to where we were. So, really, dude, 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 you are yellow. You are yellow. Yellow Pikmin do not go in the water. I thought I heard his ass splashing. Just hear the clapping of his cheeks. But it's alright, dude. You back on dry land at least for now. All right, Jesus. You ain't feeling so so hot are you well, i'm not surprised he just has had one hell of a drink Oof. Look at all these explosives everywhere damn that's what i'm talking about if i can we get you boys in is there any more underneath yes that's the stuff chaps so what's left we've got Okay, so we've got 10 explosives from here. Not too shabby. Right, come on, man. And there is some more explosives. Just down from our base. Now, hopefully none of these guys are going to fall in the drink. You know. I know it's difficult being a Pikmin. 
I imagine so, anyway. You know, no higher brain functions and all that kind of stuff. You know, the stuff that a lot of humans, not all, but a lot of humans take for granted. Uh, now, let's separate and grab some explosives. Come on, boys. There should be nades for days. Or, yeah, maybe not, I suppose. All right, well, I mean, that's fine. All right, separate everyone out. We've got 14. 14 an odd number. Maybe there are a couple more stashed away in there that we haven't grabbed. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, demo up. Let's go. So there's another... I'm sure there's another gate over here somewhere. Somewhere there is. There. Oh, with a big bastard hiding behind it. That's fine. Can we go for a three? We can. If we're quick enough, we can go for a three. Not bad. Probably go for a four, in all fairness. But that might be a bit of a risky strap. Let's give it a go. Oh, we can. Not bad. Okay, cool. Right. No, no, come on, boys, this way. Alright, let's get all of you guys back. Let's see if there's any more explosives down there. There might be. Anything else in there? No, oh, I guess not. Right, that's fine. Alright, let's get the yellows back for now, because I think we're basically done with them. No yellow casualties so far, although it was bloody close, let's be fair. Uh, right, let's put you boys back. Still only got 64 yellows, but that's fine. Right, uh, let's go for a whole army of blues. We want all of our blues. Because we are going... To this guy over here. Now, I think in the last video, we actually got the part... Uh... Oh, God, another cannon beetle there. We actually got the part, but we didn't quite manage to uh, get the part back. So, I mean, that's fine. Drink, my brothers. Drink the mead and grow strong. Come on. Dig that shit up. There we go. Drink up, boys. Drink up. Any more? Okay, I mean, that's not bad. It's actually what we could do. There is another... Well... I mean, we've got a couple of stragglers, but we're pretty strong. It's a pretty strong force. Cool. Right, let's go take these guys out. These guys are a little bit on the suck side. So we're just going to bum rush them. Not bad, man. Not bad. Now, if we can take a couple of these corpses back, we might as well. You know, the prosperity. Because we are probably going to lose Pikmin. And we've lost two, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Two casualties is acceptable. Come on, guys. Hold the line. Prove that you are true apex predators. Uh, oh, we did lose a few more, but that's fine. That's fine. They're a strong group. Right, let's bring this sack of shit down. And these, uh, those guys that are... There we go. He's down. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Tear him asunder. Nope. Not today. Oh, he's back down. Go on, boys. Back on him. Nice. Not bad, man. Not bad. Right. Oh, that was the analog computer. I'm sure we got this. No, it's the interstellar radio. That's right. I don't think we actually managed to return it, though, did we? Let's get... 20 boys on it. That should do. There we go. And then everybody else can just kind of, like, carry this stuff back. We need five on each. Now we've got to go take out another cannon beetle. Which in itself isn't too bad. Right, okay. 
Yeah, we're going to get more from taking these back. So I think that's where it's at. Because obviously taking back... Um... Right, they're going that way. I don't know why they're going that way. But I mean, you know what? Hey, that's, that's their decision, I guess. Sometimes you got to learn when to let them go. Three left. Uh, one, two, three. All right, cool. Well, I mean, at least we're going to boost up our pop just a little bit, which is fine. Now, let's go get some reds. We get as many reds as we can. Because we need... Ooh. Let's put these boys back. Let's put your asses back. How many? Three. Okay, so we can get 40 reds. It's not bad. I mean, 40 reds is more than enough to take on a cannon beetle. That's for damn sure. At least, I hope it's enough to take on a damn cannon beetle. It would be pretty sad if not. Okay, cool. Now, we all flowered? We're all flowered. Dude, we're ready. We're ready to roll. Nice. So, we've got this big bulbous bastard in there. Uh, we've got the fly dude as well. Oof. Right, okay. Let's see, if we could. I mean, we can build this up. Well, that's another part there. I swear we got that, though. Interstellar radio. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining, though, uh, that I do that I have no option but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression not all parts are needed to fly the ship. Uh, we're on 23 parts, Olimar. Like, we are smashing this, okay? I don't think you have to worry too much. Now, how do we get into the armored cannon beetle? Uh... We go this way around, I guess. Damn, there's another one of those gits. Ooh, looks like we might have to... Yeah, looks like we have to do some work. Alright. We need to take these guys out, really. Yeah, okay. So this area is going to be a little bit delicate, shall we say. Uh, are all of you guys up here? You are. Cool. Right. Fucking commando style. Behind enemy lines. Oh, dude. 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 Right. Get your sneak on, boys. Boys. Sneak on. Right. Oh, you know what? Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Quite sure how you managed to get the drop on one of our men, but hey, it is what it is. Right, you over here. No, 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 no. Shit, this is where things go south. Oh, bollocks. Deep in an enemy territory here. Take him down. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Right, peace out, bros. Peace out. Oof. Okay, cool. And all was right with the world once again. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's take this twat out. Got ya. Right, let's smash this down. Uh, not really sure what that's going to yield us, to be honest. Uh, we can also then throw some bodies up there. We've only lost two men, which actually... Ah... Oh, oh, right. So we've got some more sure bugs there, which is fine. Pretty much take these guys. Well, we sh should be able to take these guys out, but they will just fly off again because they're massive dickheads. Um, okay. Well, let's start just working that over, I suppose. We should be able to break that one down. And... Let's have a look at the map here. Right. Not sure how useful that actually is. Might want to get him killed. 
Now the cannon beetle shouldn't provide us too much of a challenge. I say, optimistically. Now hopefully they will take the spoils this way. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Okay. Well, we can take the cannon beetle on another day. I think this area is going to take us a little time to clear. I want to build that bridge up. Alright, come on boys. So that path is now open to us. Come on. Come on. You can navigate around that. It's not difficult. I guess we could take the cannon beetle on now. And then worry about... So if we can kill the cannon beetle now, we can worry about... Um... How do I get up there? Ah, yeah. We can worry about uh, how we get the part out later. Ouch! Yes, I forgot. I'm not a red Pikmin. Lel. Okay. Alright, come on, boys. Come on. Ooh, Christ. There we go. Right, fire! Fire! There we go. Got him. Got him, boys. Got him. Get him. Come on. Now, luckily, this guy is actually kind of weak. Oh, we killed him in one hit. Oof. Happy with that. Um, I've discovered the bow spirit. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. Cool. Did we even lose anyone? Maybe. Right. I kind of want to take his ass back. And how many? We need 30 for that. Alright. Right, so we can take him back another day. Right, they actually want to go. Okay, so these guys want to go the long way around. That's kind of disappointing. But, okay. So we need to hardcore make sure this area is completely set up. We're going to have to raid the place too. So, tomorrow, when we come back... Is everybody back at base? Yeah, more or less. So that part we can now get. We just need to remember that we have to take it all the way out here. This area absolutely crawls with enemies. Shame we couldn't take the cannon beetle back, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see how much of this bridge we can get constructed before we have to worry about it. Come on, boys. Just get another bit done. Another bit done and I'll be happy. Alright. Let's go. Peace out. Come on, dudes. Everybody. I hope that was everybody. They didn't. <laughs> they ignored the first whistle. Fools! Well, if they ignored the first whistle, then... I mean, I guess it's Darwinism. Right. So we got another part at least. It wasn't the total waste. Fourteen days since impact. Fire should be a natural enemy of the Pikmin. But on closer examination, hey, we we know this. It's, we've already seen this. Found red Pikmin to be impervious to it. It is fascinating. The reds continue through the flames, completely oblivious to any Pikmin burning around them. Yes, saving Private Ryan all over again. Hey, we made forty Pikmin, and we lost ten in battle. Save. We are actually going to save this time. Okay, so, progress made. Hopefully, sins have been absolved. And when we return, we're going to get a couple more parts in the distant spring. But we've got a lot of uh, pathing to clear. I think that's going to be our main focus for now. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.